Hello everybody, it's your boy N here, I'm coming at you guys with another YouTube video. So in today's video is going to be a quick guide on how to do the Haven Invasion in Hagios inside the First Descendant. So without further ado guys, let's get right on into today's video. But before we do that though, real quick, my credit card is going to be on screen right now, so please feel free to use my credit card, top link in the description. Other than that, my Discord server is also going to be in the description. Now with all of that out of the way, let's actually get on into today's video. So as soon as you spawn, that timer will immediately, immediately start. So this is essentially get in, get underway and take care of everything as fast as you possibly can. Now, this is a very, very simple invasion and uh, all you need to do is essentially just use a good AoE bunny and have high damage on your bunny and just pick up the brains, put them into the center console thing, the little floating device type of thing and you have to do that three times equaling for a total of 45 brains. Now, once you've done this, you are able to destroy the door and you can just pass on through to the next zone. Now, you can put odd amounts of brains in there so if you want to put one or two brains in that sort of thing you can uh, do that however I do recommend just maxing out to 15 brains at one time and then you just do it in three simple waves no need to keep rushing back and forth to the machine so it just makes it a little bit easier that way also the bunny build I use is going to be on screen right now so this is the build that I am using it is a infinite sprint build along with the right modules however if you are struggling and you can't survive with this build the build I will recommend is this one instead so all you do is essentially replace the narcissism with HP collector and you should be all good to go and you should not be dying in this mission because you get enough enemies spawning very very fast to the point where you can kill anything or basically you just won't struggle with enemies spawning in these sort of missions the invasions are very very fast paced which i personally really do like as you can see we are already majority of the way through this mission we are already in the second phase and i've just put the first wave of brains in now the more you run these missions over time obviously you will get a little bit more familiar with the spawns so don't be too stressed out that you can't min max and spawn trap as many enemies as you might want to just play the missions get used to it and all of that and you will essentially get there uh no rush there's no rush on it at all and i'm getting absolutely clattered right over here but you know we're still balling because uh, we are just like that also you can only run four invasions a day so you can only run each invasion twice assuming you complete the mission and that means that to get all of Haley's parts it is going to be a painstaking minimum of 12 days with perfect perfect rng now that as much as i love the invasions that that is just something i cannot get behind time getting a descendant is honestly nuts that's something i really do not disagree with but we are already on the final phase with not even well just under halfway of the actual final time on this mission so people the way you deal with this final phase is the following just as the other ones you're gonna want to pick the 15 brains up and pick them up and shove them into the good old machine and then there is a big old antenna or rope or something i don't know what it is but it's connected to the boss then what you're gonna want to do is just give that a good old whack and then you should have access to the boss for a limited amount of time now I will uh, wait for the gameplay to actually get up to that bit before I start explaining that mechanic because that mechanic is a very important one to understand as well and can make or break your run depending on how well you can survive. Now as you can see here I'm on my final wave for the brains and then I'm gonna just simply uh, shoot the machine down and show you what I will be doing. So I've got on all the brains, I've put on all the brains in, going over to where the uh, connection thing is on the machine now there's a yellow bar on the screen that yellow bar will ins it will basically let you know how long you have until you the boss's shields come all the way back up now again i do I highly recommend the enduring legacy separate build on my youtube channel covering the enduring legacy because you can see even with a bunny with no hp this absolutely shreds the boss to pieces now Again, it's an invasion, you get yourself a lovely 1.25 million gold, and that is uh, as simple as it gets for the invasions, yeah. It uh, takes me literally under 4 minutes, and you know, that's everything you need right there in the invasion. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please do smash that like button, if you're new, consider subscribing, and uh, yeah, I'll be updating and adding more invasion guides, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!